Llamamos entonces a Nicolás Meregali. Nicolás Meregali makes his return to the mat once again. against Max Jimenez. Now, something to note, these two have fought before several times, so they know each other's game. First time competing against each other here at Copa Podio. But uh, from my recollection, Marigali has walked away victorious in those matches. Well, if, Mac if Marigali wants to, to, to solidify his presence in the top four, he needs to make something happen here against Me uh, Jimenez because they're both tied three points for three behind Leandro Lowe who has nine. Winner of this is winning the group. So, so, I'm sorry, coming in second of the group. Here we go, Jimenez inside the crafty guard of Marigali. Marigali pulling right away. You know, one thing that I think this Copa Podio is going to be remembered for is debuts. Just so many awesome debuts. And even though Marigali did not win against Leandro Lowe, what a match earlier on. His first match of the night, just really, really impressive. Jefferson really sets the stage for these up-and-comers and, and gives them a, an opportunity to showcase their talent. And, and, and they've always come through every single time. Absolutely. Look at that. Look at the guard of Marigali using that far-legged De La Hiva. Crossing his legs. Using those long legs to control the hips. Jimenez balancing out. This match has been brought to you by Scramble. Jimenez now inside the closed guard of Medigali. Medigali opens up. Four minutes and 55 seconds left in the match. In the final match of the yellow group. After this, we'll have a 15 minute intermission. We'll return with the South American Championships, the semifinals, the battles of the Cabo de Pesh and the Vikings, and finals of this event. So we still got plenty of action on the way. I really am always interested in watching this this guy Nicholas Medigali because his guard is something special and you see him sweep flawlessly against his opponent Max Jimenez here always oh, looking for for uh, to get around to get initiate this pass and now he's seeking the arm of Max Jimenez he might be in trouble here you see the look on his face he's, he knows he's got it that, that reeks, that's confidence from competing against that opponent so many times, switching the triangle. He, they both oh, are in this man. position again. Medigali gets, gets the victory. With the fire, Nicholas Medigali submits Max Jimenez in great fashion with an armbar and solidifies his presence in the final four of the Grand Prix. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas Medigali has arrived. Has arrived. Ricardo, you said it. He is here and he is shining bright. I didn't mean to steal the words right out of your mouth. I like it. But I had to. I like it. One might say Nicholas Medigali is lit. He, he, I think he is. <laughs> <laughs> As I mentioned before, these two fought before. The last match I believe they had ended in similar fashion. As Medigali finished with the triangle, he went to triangle, but as soon as he got to the position, looked so confident that he was going to finish Jimenez. Beautiful match. And your victor, Nicholas Medigali, advancing. Talk about what you have to go for in terms of emotions as a brown belt, knowing you just submitted a black belt. Oh, wow. It's amazing. And, you know, and not just any black belt in any event. I want to see this a... This is at Copa Podio. Yeah. I want to see a replay of that armbar.